right, this next set of cuts is extremely dangerous, and I implore you, do not do this. Do not try this. So unless you've got the reflexes of a cat and the spatial awareness of a professional juggler, don't even try it. But I'll show you how we did it. <laughs> we got three birch trees here. Two of them are dead. That one up in the tree is pretty dead. And this one over here is uh, not completely dead, but dead enough. Now, the problem with this guy right here is it's all hung up in the oak tree. And it's also got a bad spot right there. So that is really dangerous. <laughs> Yep. Okay, I'm going to cut it right about here, and hopefully it'll drop straight down. Okay. Ready? Yep. So why is this so dangerous, you ask? Well, you have to consider the tree that you're working with. Knowing the weaknesses of the species that you're working with helps you better evaluate what may happen. And as you can see, that tree wasn't that big, but everything kind of crashed down on top of me but I don't really want to climb this tree. So we're going to do something a bit different. Jorge's setting a rope over that away, and we're going to bring it over and tie it here, and that'll prevent it from falling towards us. And what I'm going to do, I like to move this big rock and get it out of the way, but then what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a lot of rapid cuts and have it go chunk, 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 so it kind of comes down straight. We'll see how it goes. This is the other birch tree, and birch wood, when it gets dead, it's really, really soft and really light and really dangerous. This piece right here weighs almost nothing. It's like paper wood, but you don't want to climb that stuff. So the rope is going to keep it from falling back this way and hitting the house. And I cut it right here at an angle and put it down this thing is going to slide off and hit right there and jorge's got a porter wrap i think it'll go about four feet at a time that way it'll slide off and it'll pull it down and then you'll hold it you'll keep it from coming but um yeah it's tied over to that branch on that oak tree should be enough You let it slide all the way down, and then I'm going to get out of the way. Quick move. You move this way, that'll be easy. Huh? You move this way, that'll be safer. Yeah. <laughs> 
Okay, tight, 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 tight. Hold it tight. Falling towards the house. Perfect. could have gone either way you know if Jorge hadn't have been right there on the rope and stop it before the branches or the top fell over if any of those broken bits up there had fallen hit me in the head I mean there's so many what ifs you know that was taking a chance but I was aware of what was going to happen I was ready to jump out of the way was it risky yeah it was risky but you know what almost everything I do is risky <laughs> Hey, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe, hit that little like button, leave me a comment, hit the bell, and buy me a coffee, would you? Just buy me a coffee. <laughs> <laughs>